I'm Miss Souffle and I'm an afternoon tea aficionado and an etiquette enthusiast. I'm a bit of a rebel when it comes to etiquette but I do love afternoon tea and all the geekery around it. It's our favourite British pastime and you might be planning to have afternoon tea at the Ritz or hosting your own afternoon tea party or event or you might even be trying to bag an invite to the Queen's for afternoon tea. Any which way, I'm here to teach you some afternoon tea etiquette tips. Afternoon tea can be enjoyed absolutely anywhere. It could be um, a low tea on a low table like today, or on a high table, like a dining table, that would be high tea, um, or even in restaurants, hotels, spas, even on a plane. When sitting at an afternoon tea table, you should be sitting straight up, not slouched in your chair. Um, this shows that you are interested in what's going on around the table, you're not bored, um, and it's a very ladylike or gentlemanly position to sit in. When putting your napkin on your lap, the opening needs to be facing towards your body so that when you go to dab your mouth, any crumbs that are on it go on the floor and not over your beautiful afternoon tea outfit. So tea or milk first. The aristocracy back in the 1800s would have drank from fine bone china and their servants would have drank from clay mugs downstairs in the servant quarters. So they would have poured milk in first to avoid cracks appearing in their clay mugs. So try it without milk first and it will show that you're upper class. So how do you stir your tea? It's actually in a back and forth motion, so a 6 to 12 on a clock. If you swirl it round and round, you're going to whirlpool any sugar cubes that are in the middle and they won't actually dissolve as well as they will back and forth. So pinkies up. We all love to put our pinkies out when we're drinking tea. It's great for pictures, but you should actually hold your teacup with all fingers and your thumb on the tea handle. I find this tricky myself with delicate china because of my big sausage fingers. Breaking your scone apart, you should actually not use a knife and saw it. Uh, you should break your scone with your fingers and you'll find there's a natural fold as you pull it and it should break apart like so. It's like breaking bread. Um, you do the same with the bread roll. And then there's the cream versus jam debate and I love this. Cornish love to put their clotted cream on top and show it proud. Um, but the right way is actually to bring the cream and the jam onto the side of your plate and then break your scone piece by piece and put the jam and cream on as you go. So finger sandwiches should be two to three bites, so dainty, ladylike food um, and you should be able to eat it with two fingers and your thumb underneath. And say it, don't spray it, don't eat with your mouth full. And should you dunk biscuits? Do you know what? Just do it. My weapon of choice is a digestive or a jammy dodger. Afternoon tea etiquette is great fun, but for goodness sake, enjoy your afternoon tea. We Brits love our food. Our bakers and chefs are passionate about the treats, so go and enjoy it. If you've enjoyed this video, please visit misssouffle.com uh, where I'm on a pursuit to travel around the world and find the most exciting and luxurious afternoon teas. But I'm also a bit of a rebel and I do love to host um, Breaking Bad style tea parties, even zombie tea parties, so come and take a look around. My afternoon tea etiquette events, lessons and workshops all prove highly popular as the perfect addition to any afternoon tea within a hotel, tea room or your own venue.
Ha <laughs> ha